I'm here battling Yus. I'll be in the top right corner of the screen because for some reason my battle video didn't save. This will be a Gen 4 OU match. I'm gonna go ahead and leave with Gengar. He's gonna leave with Ambipom. His fake out is practically useless here. He went for taunts and I actually don't know what was going on in Yus's mind when he did that. He must have thought I was gonna use some sort of crafty hypnosis shit but I'm actually an all out attacker so that was rendered useless and he just lost a Pokemon turn 1. He brings in Metagross and because I still have Focus Sash I thought it would be a good idea to just stay in. So I go for a Shadow Ball expecting him to knock me down to my Sash but for some reason he uses Trick and I, I, I didn't see that coming especially the fact that he just gave me an Iron Ball. So now this Gengar is practically useless, it won't come handy later, uh, it will just be outsped by like, literally everything so I'm going to go ahead and let it die because I, I have no need for it. He gets an attack boost which is quite annoying so I'm going to go ahead and bring in Donphan because I highly doubt he can kill Donphan one here unless he wants to explode. I go for the Earthquake because he was at plus one attack so I couldn't risk trying to make any predictions. He puts Claydol in which I haven't seen for ages so I'm predicting something here like if he went for Sto Stealth Rocks I'm bringing in Gyarados just before Gyarados can take any Stealth Rock damage but then also just in case he used a special attack or Ice Beam I don't want to be taking an Ice Beam so I put Gyarados in to counter this Claydol he switches out I have no need to over predict here so I go for the Waterfall trying to get some damage on anything that he wants to put in this Waterfall does um, exceptional amount of damage so I'm just like alright you know what I'm just going to do that again because why not? I don't see a need to start setting up Dragon Dances or whatnot. Um, this next Waterfall is going to be enough to kill Yus. So down goes the Mail Gross. Um, here he puts in his Breloom, if I'm correct. So I have a choice here. I can either try to taunt this Breloom, see if I can outspeed it because I do carry the taunt. But I thought, you know what? I'm going to bring in my Scarf Heracross. Um, he puts the Spore on my Heracross. So now um, I do carry the Sleep Talk, but I don't know. Uh, all, I, all I need to do is either Sleep Talk, close, uh, close Combat or Mega Horn, but instead I decided to Sleep Talk the one move that ain't going to do anything. So I Sleep Talk Pursuit for some reason, so now that's just going to leave me in a bad position where he's now set up a sub and I have to switch out because that's the way Choice Band works, um, Choice Golf works with Sleep Talk. So I'm going to switch into Gyarados because I know I can take a hit from Focus Punch and um, since I'm bulky I should be enough to take three hits if I have to take three hits and yeah the first hit ain't gonna do too much so he needs to hit me two more times at this point I'm thinking he might have the seed bomb I'm not too sure so um, I go for a waterfall just to break his sub because it's the strongest thing I got um, so the waterfall breaks his sub he goes for another focus punch and I'm like you know what it's not, it doesn't bother me too much because you know he needs to hit me one more time after he hits me with his focus punch and I should be looking good. He'll either switch out or do something else, but instead he decides to get a crit on me. So that, that, that happened. My Gyarados is gone now, so I'm not going to be getting that Intimidate later on. Um, I'm going to put Infernape in because I'm going to try to scare him out. And I mean, I knew he wouldn't stay in, so I went for a Nasty Plot so I can try sweep whatever he wants to bring in. It brings in Claydol, and I don't think it was predicting, but the Grass Knot is a one hit KO on it. Um, I know these things tend to be specially defensive, but at plus two, Infernape, Life Orb, super effective, all that crap, I, I'm, I kind of guess it'll die. And it did, so there goes that Clay Doll, I won't get him, but get him problems anymore if I want to set up Stealth Rock. He brings in Blissey, and I don't carry the close combat, sadly. So he goes for T-Wave, I put Donphan in, but I'm not going to stay in, because I knew he would bring the Breloom in, so I double switch into Heracross. I just basically put the, the Donphan in to take the T-Wave. Now I'm going to try that sleep talk mess again and see if I actually get something decent this time. And I do, I get Mega Horn and surprisingly it didn't actually miss. So that will be a one hit KO because my guts have been activated plus I got stab on this. So that's a lot of damage. Um, he brings in his Infernape. I'm like, oh, okay, well I need to switch out but I'm hoping to god he doesn't sell or anything. He goes for a fire blast so he just went for the attack straight away. I bring in Infernape because it's the only thing I got to take a Fire Blast. I don't have anything else. Um, I go for the Vacuum Wave because that's the only thing that does neutral damage on Infernape. So he goes for the Close Combat and he does finish me off. Now my last Pokemon is Jolteon and that's why earlier um, I didn't take the Fire Blast. With, that's why I chose Infernape to take the Fire Blast. 
So I'm going to bring Jolteon in here and I'm going to try to scare him out because I'm assuming he was switching to Blissey, like who wouldn't? So I'll set up a sub and I'm going to go for a baton pass and try to get my um, Heracross in freely. He will break it though because Blissey's carry Seismic Toss. And um, here was a very confusing moment in the game because like I, I thought, you know what, if I if I wake up and go for close combat I should be able to sweep the game since I'm scoffed. But I honestly didn't think I would wake up. So I went for a sleep talk, it failed, and he gets a T wave on me on the same turn. Now, that was that was a pretty good play. I'm not gonna lie, that was that was a really good play by us. Um I was just gonna go into Donphan because I'm now locked into Sleep Talk. So he's gonna seismic toss me and this is where the game stores out just a little bit. He's basically going to go keep using Seismic Toss while trying to keep his health up. And I guess that's all he can do right now because I'm spamming Earthquake. I'm not going to stop spamming Earthquake. So if he was to bring that Infernape in, which is his last Pokemon, that's just going to die. So his choice here, his only choice here is to keep using Seismic, seismic Toss. Um, I could, if I wanted to, bring the Heracross in, I guess. It would take him three turns to kill me. But I'm just going to keep using Earthquake because that's my best form to play right now. So yeah, this is just going to stall out a little bit. If I haven't mentioned already, um, do go check out Yusuf's channel because he's a really good player. He has over 1,000 subs now in Rising, so he's obviously doing something right. I mean, I, I, I would go check him out. He's one of the first YouTubers I started watching. One of the reasons I got into competitive, like the old gen gamers. So yeah, he's he's really worth checking out his channel if you haven't, if you don't know of Yus. But I'm pretty sure most people that come in here came here because of Yus. So yeah. Um, Yus is going to heal up again, and this is where the stalling starts to come to an end. My health is just going down and down each time, and like, we're just sitting here hoping for something to happen. I'm hoping for a crit to happen at some point, because the, the more these things stall, the more the chance there tends to be a crit. The thing about Blissey you got to remember is that this video has been sped up, but if this video wasn't sped up, Blissey's health goes down at just... A ridiculous rate like it just goes down so slowly that you, you don't know when it's gonna stop so here he heals up one last time and the more he's healing up the more my leftovers is pushing me up each time so um, on this turn I use earthquake and this is the turn I'm pretty sure I crit him but it was it was really funny watching his health go down like really slowly like I said this has been sped up so you can imagine how slow this was um, after I get this crit which I'm sure it's this turn, yep it's definitely this turn. <laughs> you watch all that Blissey's health go down and you're just like damn, alright. That Blissey's now dead and he brings in the Infernape and he's going to try to do what he can do. At this point he's lost because Jolteon will outspeed him. But I'm just like, you know what, whatever. He he beats the Donphan and I'm just thinking, you know what, I'm going to bring in that Heracross. Because who knows, I'm just going to test fate right now. Um, his form of fire move is fire blast, so I was hoping he would miss it as a joke. So I bring this thing in, he does miss it, but then I go ahead and miss a turn. So, I mean, you know, checkmate. What, what, what do I say? Basically, he he just kills me off, and then my Jolteon will win the game. So yeah, that was the game. That was um, me and Yusuf's warm up match, and there will be another video posted shortly. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. Like I said, do check out Yusuf's channel. He's a really good player, and. Um, Otherwise, I do have more content coming, so bear with me. I have more DIY videos. I've just been really slow with everything going on. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you a lot around.